So the question is limit x tends to zero, greatest standard function of one minus e to the bar x sine x upon mod x. So what I'll do is, I see this mod sine sine x upon x is one, one minus e to the power zero is zero. So which is an integer. Again, I cannot take this limit inside this greatest integer function. So what I'll do is I'll write left hand limit. Now left hand limit will be limit x tends to zero negative, greatest integer function of one minus e to the power x sine x upon mod x. So what I'll do is I'll let x equals zero minus h. So it'll be limit h tends to zero positive one minus e to the power h sine minus h and mod of minus h. So I'll write it as limit h tends to zero positive greatest near function of one minus e to the power minus h and minus sine h upon h. Now I cannot take this limit inside. So what I'll do is I'll write them separately. So one minus e to the power minus h, and then minus sine h upon h. Now e to the power zero is one. And if I take any number, and that is the graph of e to the power minus x. So if I take any small positive number h, so in that case this value it will be less than one. So that is. e to the power minus h will actually be less than one. So if I take it on the right hand side, I can say one minus e to the power minus h is greater than zero, but it will be less than one. And I also know that sine h upon h, sine h is less than h, which is sine h upon h is less than one. So if I multiply with the minus sign, I can write it as minus sine h upon h is greater than minus one. But it will still be less than zero. So I've got two expressions. One of the expression lies between zero and one, and the other expression lies between zero and minus one. So if I multiply two numbers, one of them is positive, other one is negative. So if I multiply them, then the result will be negative. Now first value will lie between zero and one. Next value lies between minus one and zero. So if I multiply them, then what will happen is one minus e to the power minus h into Minus sine h upon h, so their value will lie between minus one and zero. And when the expression lies between n and n plus one, its greatest integer function will be simply n. So in this case, the value of left hand limit is simply minus one. Now I'll solve the right hand limit. If I'll solve right hand limit, I can write it as limit x tends to zero positive one minus e to the power x sine x upon Mod x. Now in that, now in this case, I let x equals zero plus h, so it'll be simply limit h tends to zero positive one minus e to the power h sine h upon mod h. Now h is a positive number, so I let it as limit h tends to zero positive one minus e to the power h sine h upon h. Now one minus e to the power h, so that is the graph of e to the power h. So e to the power zero is one. If I take a small positive number, then in that case I get this value as e to the power h, so which is greater than one. So in this case e to the power h is actually greater than one. So if I take e to the power h on the right hand side, I can write one minus e to the power h is less than zero, but it will be greater than minus one. And also I know that sine h upon h, this is less than one, but greater than zero. So if I multiply them again. Again, one of the number is positive, lies between zero and one. Another number lies between minus one and zero. If I multiply them, result will be negative, and the resulting expression will lie between minus one and zero. Now, when the number lies between n and n plus one, its greatest standard function is n. So, in this case also, the value of limit is minus one. So, when left hand limit and right hand limit exist and they are equal, the value of this limit is simply. Minus one. So answer to this question is minus one. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist, and select the topic you wish to study.